Running over to level 7. Nuts and bolts. Welcome to the factory stage. We were told about a factory earlier. And this is the place. I already have a hunch who Azeros really is. Putting all the clues together. This is basically a time slow. Crates are breakable, the gray ones aren't. Money, my favorite. Gee, tanks. to be sure. And there's our checkpoint. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Double hit. Oh well. The first time I actually died outside a boss fight. All the pixies fall in one to two hits, that's not the problem. It's the hazards.
Hmm. Thought so. Mission impossible, you say? I love the invulnerability bubble. I take a hit there. If only I could just jump off the ladder, because every time I tap the jump button, I jump directly upwards. I also didn't check out that lower pad. That's cool. Wait up. I see you, Rufus. We were warned about this factory earlier. This is where Lord Vicious likely builds their weaponry. Last time. Blazing Star. Five minutes to beat us? Fat chance that'll happen. It took three minutes to talk? Track and field. Oh, my.
Phew. I didn't actually need to use the bubble there. Nonetheless, currently the second hardest boss in the game, next to Mr. Blitzer. Wall jumping! And it doesn't cost stamina to use. Latching onto a wall doesn't slow me down though. I gotta be careful about that. On to level 8, Cliff Manor. Don't worry, Peachy. You can always fly away if things get too serious. Ah, Pigsy Basketball Riders. Fifteen to three, you say? What did this do? It certainly changed the colors. So this toggles the ghosts on and off, and also makes them destroyable. And when the candle isn't lit, I can't destroy him. Whoops. We have to light all the lamps. Mimic! Would you look at that? An enemy that takes more than one or two hits to kill.
Doesn't work like I thought it would. I see a problem now. Get me out of this room. That's this room complete. I like this Haunted Mansion stage. It's a lot more non metered than the previous ones. It is 1513, just like the scoreboard outside. I'm sure we'll find our way out. Whoops. We're a mini now. <laughs> Can we ride on top of Garu now? I can't attack or use any abilities. Ah, that damages us. Ah, that's how you do it. So the wizard makes me small, and taking a bat in these fountains restores me to regular size. Wait up. Can I get the- no, I can't yet. That's better. I like this gimmick. Come on. Did 
Thanks for the food. We're gonna get our revenge soon enough, bad boy. But wait up a second, I need to collect that cassette. There's something else I do need to check down here. There is this thing. Pac-Man? I didn't expect to be playing this game down here. To be fair, this is a haunted mansion, and there's only one ghost to worry about. Rufus! Perhaps he did. Maybe those are the rates we're fighting. Which also means I missed a seed, so hang on a moment. I have to go back through the store. And that's how I get this cassette. Wait, hang on. The sorcerer is still after us. Missed. Come on, I know your accuracy is better than that. Of course, with wall jumping, this challenge is a lot easier. If only Garu could carry us. Mimic food baskets. There it is. Hey there, Basketeer. I knew from the start it had to be a basketball player. And what about that evil wizard?
Oh boy. That is not good. Not too good. Let's get dangerous. I can't pop these basketballs. I really don't want to just cheese the fight. I got body slammed. If I can finish the fight early, before he trolls a lot of giant basketballs around, it's a lot easier. It pays to play aggressive with this fight. The best kind of player. Jovial in both victory and defeat. Nice. And I can bounce off them as well. This is like if the Wild Coil and Rush Coil were together. I figured out where the missing pet was. At the start of the stage, go left. I should have known a platformer like this would eventually use this trick. Flip a coin then. They certainly do. Most of them aren't even hostile, really. We rescued six members of the group. I think the only person left is Racket Girl. The two stages I played during the stream are currently some of my favorites in the game. They make fun use of the mechanics traditionally associated with their stage types, as well as more non-standard stuff, especially the time slow mechanic. That is one way to spice up your factory level.